boys. We need to talk. Ear Ben may be your leader, but I'm your daddy. Hi everyone, my name is Eben, and welcome to a brand new episode of St. Reginald Zoo. And as always, I am joined by the wonderful Wyatt and the amazing Just Goron. Hi! Hello! Hello! Hello. And this time, we're also joined in spirit by <laughs> Mr. Mike Sheets. Um, because Mike had opinions, um, he said we had to do things. And as you might be able to see on the screen, uh, there were some slight minor changes. If you if we didn't point it out, you wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, Mike came in. We after the episode um, on Wyatt's channel, we were talking about okay, so we have this area here, and uh, how are we going to do it with guest flow? Let's just close this off and make all the guests go that way. That will make sense. And then I was in a voice uh, chat with Mike, and Mike was like, yeah, nobody, no, <laughs> that's <laughs> not going to work. <laughs> so uh, bones were broken, hearts were mend, and we are where we are right now. <laughs> so yeah, and here's where are we? <laughs> the new, newly renovated entrance for the fifth time already, and I'm not <laughs> renovating this area again, guys. <laughs> Just show it. Just show why. <laughs> just just for one second. Come on, select the path. Oh. <laughs> show oh. them. They deserve to know your pain. <laughs> okay, everyone. You didn't have to exit explore mode, but yeah. Oh, yeah okay. You want to show the full picture? You want to show them the full extent of this? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's so, it's so broken that it just can't even. Ah. Uh. <laughs> It's like planet. It's like planet zoo gore. It's like it's just too <laughs> disturbing. And like every new piece of path you add, you're like, "Am I going to make this worse?" Oh yes, I am. Oh damn. <laughs> so um, maybe as a start, why did we change uh, the uh, previous setup? Is because um, our previous setup meant that all all our guests would go this way instead of the two way loop that we now have. Um, and one of the reasons that Mike said was, okay, this is your entrance area. This is the area where like tons and tons of guests are going to pass by. You're going to need this space. You're going to need to make sure that you have these two paths. Um, and then, uh, because he's so amazing at demanding, uh, things, he was also like, oh, even why don't you make this a slope? And I'm like, oh, God, of course, I'll make this a slope. <laughs> um, there's going to be lots of things today. We're going to take a look a lot. Take a look at a lot of things. Uh, but the first thing is this new little building. Uh, the idea is very simple. Uh, we have a keeper club over there, which is for members only. But in the morning, if you come around here, you want to grab a coffee. So we have a coffee stand here. Um, if Ricey or Christina is watching, uh, we want to talk with you. Uh, we need a logo, so <coughs> if you have time and stuff. Yeah, as if uh, as if I haven't been designing logos for the entire <laughs> zoo for the past three weeks. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, yeah. You could. Why didn't you offer to do to do to make the logo white? I didn't Come know on. what this. I didn't know what this was. I wasn't sure what it was gonna be. So. <laughs> This coffee shop is going to be called Eye Beans. Um, Eye Beans, okay. Because of the fact that everyone initially always calls me Ivan, and <laughs> the wonderful irony of me not being able to drink coffee due to my slight insomnia, so the irony is perfect. So uh, yeah, this is going to be our, our Eye Beans coffee shop. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for the logo just yet, but all I know is that there will be a mustache involved. <laughs> yeah, that has to be. Perfect. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> well, this mustache got to town and started working on a lot of stuff. Um, and we're going to take a look at that right now. And the first thing that we had to do was move this wonderful gazebo made by Wyatt all the way up here, which was so much fun. Um, <laughs> you're, you're welcome. And, <laughs> and this is what the result is right now. And if you look very carefully, 
Wait, do we have those buoy 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 Did we have those before? Uh, no, I uh, I made those because I thought like this is like the minimum amount of theming that we can add in this area without it being it. like oh wow overly themed. Yeah. <laughs> But the one thing that I like a lot now is that these washing stations, if someone comes by, yes, uh, these are now completely functional because these were already so amazing and it's so mm -hmm. much fun to see. Yay! That's <laughs> to awesome. See them, to see them happy about using them. <laughs> and then walking they, through them. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they're... Pff. There's every kind of barrier in between there and they just look all right now. No, let's, let's not do this. So yeah. Um, this has both pretty much stayed the same and also got changed a bit. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the idea is the same, the layout is different, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, so we did, like, I, I changed a few things. I added this entire area after talking to you, Wyatt, mm -hmm. about, yeah, like, would these, would they need, like, an extra canopy over here to, um, to cover them in, in case there's winter and snow and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and I think... And then another um, decision we ended up making, because before the original pool we had was a sand bottom pool, um, mm -hmm. but then you brought up the idea of making it a concrete bottom, and I wasn't sure if that was like possible or safe, but um, you showed me some pictures, and I found some pictures, and... Um, we ended up going for a look similar to the one in Zoo Tampa, I believe. Um, and you did an amazing job, especially with all the um, the grunge. It's it's a lot um, it's a lot jankier without necessarily being like sort of lower budget. Yeah, which is they just sort of went for a different style, and it looks it looks amazing. Yeah, and it was when I saw that specific episode of Zoo Tampa, I saw that it was like. It had a, concrete, a completely concreted bottom, and I was like, "Oh no, I'm how I'm going to have to do this." And then I was like, I was looking at all kinds of references. I was like, "Are there references where it's not concrete?" Okay, there are. And then we were like, "Are we going to do it, or we're not going to do it?" Exactly. And I, I ended up doing it just as a test, and then I was like, when it was like only this corner was done, I was, "Oh no, this looks good." I, I'm going <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this for the entire area now. Mm -hmm. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You start doing something and you're like, oh no, this looks good. Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh no, this looks good. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my time. Yeah, exactly. Um, one of the things that I also uh, did was raise this path a bit and allow uh, autosave to do its thing because I don't know if the water was working for you but for me i only had it like at this level mm. um which meant that there was no way to like lean over the way that you would do in a zoo mm. yeah so, so uh i struggled with this path for quite a while <laughs> um i'm pretty sure you both remember that <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i heard I something about hating the water but you know you hear that so often that it kind of becomes a, a blur <laughs> <laughs> I was quite vocal about, <laughs> about my frustrations. Uh, <laughs> Straight up not having a good time. Yeah. And um, before we gloss over it, even I had a little I had a question about the little like knobs that are sticking out of the of the support beams, the little black ones. Oh up, yeah. Up, up up. Like is that to up, up, cover higher. it up in the winter? Uh, no, so um originally I uh, I had the path oh, here. Yeah. And I used this because this was in the middle of the path, um, oh. but I forgot. So um, <laughs> if we want to delete this, then I'm totally fine with that. I, gave I mean, you I think it makes sense because I feel like in the winter they would put like sh something over it and that might be like attachment points. I figured they would just like relocate the rays somewhere behind the scenes because yeah. I feel like with uh, all the with all the rock make... work and the the way the tank is laid out, um, it sort yeah, of goes in and sense. out of the canopy. <laughs> I figure yeah. it'd be pretty difficult to sufficiently insulate this, so I figured there'd be some mm -hmm. behind the scenes pool they would go yeah. to. Which is which I'm not going to show yet because it's not finished. Um, but which is inside of this building. Um, and one of the things that I really like about this is. 
The previous building for the Flamingos was not good at all. And it had to be like, we also did an entire planning session where we were like, okay, um, when were certain buildings made? Um, what style would they be in? Mm -hmm. And um, the Flamingo building was supposed to be in the same style as the other blue buildings. Um, so before this entire building was the green and the uh, red brick mm -hmm. and um, what they of course did as a zoo would do simply st from the moment we transition into our coastal area they <laughs> just changed the painting <laughs> and it looks it looks it's such a it's such a typical zoo thing and I love it so much that I'm like mm -hmm. yes. I mean it's, it, it looks totally different yeah, if, but if not. You, it looks different enough, but you're still if you're if you look at it for too long, you're like, wait a minute, this this <laughs> this is not a separate building. This is one big building. <laughs> um, I, I didn't have time yet to uh, f refix this aviary. Uh, Wyatt, I was gonna I, I was gonna say you've got some you've got some serious balls to just devastate my shorebird aviary and not even attempt to fix it. <laughs> well, the thing is. The thing is, someone was like, oh, this whole thing needs to be on the slope. So, okay, <laughs> I, I blueprinted this habitat. Let's and, see, I see. And apparently when you use free build and you place down a blueprint habitat, the terrain doesn't really go the way you want it to. Mm. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Con let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> let's continue. Yeah, the, 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 that was fun. I, I didn't cry at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this this has all been stuff that you two have already seen because when we're doing these big changes, we kind of want to keep each other up to date a little bit more. Yeah, so definitely. That we, so that we don't need to uh, redo things. Um, the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But what's inside of this building is something that I've kept very close to the vest and um, I'm I'm quite happy with it. Um, oh, look at that amazing sign work. Yeah, you know, know amazing sign work <laughs> is um, is absolutely brilliant. Um, so I I didn't focus too much on the guest facing area of this uh, penguin building. It's obviously not finished. We still need like signs and and like a, a, a cool oh look this is the penguin building. Mm -hmm. um, and as you can see, like all the other stuff is still coming soon. You can support us at saintreginal2.com. Um, mm -hmm. Sure, go to that website. It's super cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but what you're gonna see today is something that I'm super proud of, and I think not a lot of people have made it as detailed as I've been doing it. So I've been told. So uh, one of the things that I did was I added exit signs that are the correct color. <laughs> you and... pulled the domain. <laughs> Wait, what? sorry. No, nothing. People yes. can find out themselves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I even researched if this was the color, correct color for um, the Chicago exit signs. Uh, I thought they were red, and I thought I, I read it correctly, and I double checked it like. 20 minutes ago and then i mm. and then i saw oh no wait no that's not correct they need to be white with red lettering so i had to redo them all over again so that was fun um i also made this cool uh, cover for um the extinguisher right. but goron mm. i will need your help to oh yeah i'm like, sure and i can hear because yeah. yeah no that didn't work <laughs> Find all go on the to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so what do you guys want to do first? Do you want to see the Rock Hopper exhibit first? Or do you want to see something cool? Um, I think let's save something cool for last. And then we'll get the lame, boring penguin exhibit out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So if we continue this way, we'll log oh, some more. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, those are fun. Those are those are so like authentic to these this, these kinds of exhibits. And this is our rock opera exhibit. Very nice. That's nice. Yeah. So the idea was that originally the glass came all the way up to here because my idea was 
Before they had a different kind of penguin, which would have allowed open glass, but this is climate controlled. So they closed the glass, but the fence is still here. Um, so like before this kept guests from getting pecked by yeah. um, penguins, uh, something that happens to even the best zoo builders. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> true, Carl? Yeah. <laughs> I, I also mean, now, the... now the fence prevents yeah, little kids from smudging the glass as much. So. Yes. Um, because of the glare of the lights, I hope that one day we can get glass that isn't reflective. Um, <laughs> because of that, you can't really see it, but I also introduced an entire air conditioning system. And I used the actual air vents for that, which meant that I could go a little a little extra. And let's take a look. Ah, that button there you go so there oh, there's go. a cat <laughs> that's the first cat <laughs> so uh the exhibit the entire exhibit itself is 11 degrees celsius as prescribed <laughs> by boundary guidelines and the water <laughs> itself is 4.4 uh, uh degrees celsius as also as described in the husbandry manual <laughs> That is so extra. I love it. It's That's way too extra. It's extremely extra, but I loved it so much. And I was like, yes, I'm going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so then we'll take a look at one of the coolest things. Um, one of the things that zoos are offering uh, most recently is all kinds of backstage tours. Um, just to make sure that they have different means of incomes. Um and this is exactly what this is going to be, uh, our first backstage tour. Ooh. So this is inspired by um, the one at uh, SeaWorld San Diego. So mm. what they do here as well is in the first room you enter, um, they give you all kinds of explanation about, okay, what are the rules, um, what are what penguins are, where you can find penguins, all kind, all the stuff that comes with that. So I made sure that we have like this kind of entrance room where you can sit down for a while, where you can wash your hands, where you where they can say like, oh, these are penguin eggs, stuff like that. You, you can you can boil an egg maybe. Yeah, you can boil an egg. <laughs> I love then, I love gutter piece handles. These things are so useful. Oh yeah. hell yeah! I love that thing. <laughs> Shut up! You're really doing our show for us today. <laughs> they are really not okay. I think but we'll keep going. <laughs> and there was a point in time, guys, where I said we were in the middle of a conversation, and I was like, "Yes, it worked." <laughs> and we're now we're going to take a look at what worked. <laughs> I'm so excited. <gasps> no oh way. Oh my god. Ah, no, god. ah damn it. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's... Too bad you, you don't work. Ah, such a shame. Dude. <laughs> the moment. Let's, let's take two. Second take. Come on. <laughs> Dude. Wow. Let's be surprised again. <laughs> Dude, so, is it, it's not in, it, it's in a, a habitat, I guess. Yes, this is a habitat. And, um, it's done so that the habitat gate is here in the freezer. Um, that's also why there's a one of these crates over here because it blocks the box from appearing over there. Oh no 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 no! When they throw the animal in, it actually gets put on the table right away. Um, but when the when the zookeeper comes in and brings food, it drops fish <laughs> right here. So uh, with this. It actually looks as if the fish is dropped in the basket. So that's that's, that's pretty cool. That's brilliant. <laughs> the keeper comes out of the freezer. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This yeah, is the, okay. This, yeah, even this. I'm very glad we <laughs> saved this for last because this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> and I also like that this is a habitat, so it actually works. Um, and oh, it's yeah, not because we're actually looking at it, right? Yep, yep, yep. And it's not uncommon in zoos as well. Um, they do bring out penguins so that get, that guests can interact with. Um, yeah. We've got I've a bunch this, of things. I've seen this kind of stuff all the time. Oh, that coffee pot Holy is so shit. The outlets, the outlets. Oh, yeah. And I made sure to check if they were the USA ones. And <laughs> oh, not the I was going to ask. Yeah, USA has the faces. Yes. 
Um, so this is the area of the backstage that the guests can come in. But of course, this is just the clean area. This is not the area where you would do like most of your prep work. All of mm. that is over there. Of are course, those, life vests? those are live vests. That you would, or, okay. If you would wander into the penguin enclosure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Go for a continue. swim. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. What a stereo. Oh, you actually used some of the reference I gave you, maybe. <laughs> oh, the, the, the scale, that's so good. <laughs> Dude, this is killing me. I'm, I'm dying. This is, I, I can't believe this is like the level of detail I have to like keep up with. Yeah, you're <laughs> upping the stakes so much. I know. <laughs> oh my God. Ridiculous, I hate you. <laughs> Skill. How is that even? Dude, the moment we have to fall, I'm jumping in here. <laughs> like, know, what is I'm that? Ripping this apart. <laughs> I the goal is to uh, make a set of blue, of um of backstage. Yeah, items. I, I, I can't wait for the how do you do on this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh this just sings. Is that a blender? Yes, um, because <laughs> because young penguins often get uh, fat using. Um, blend fish. <laughs> blend fish, exactly. So they have a mini blender over Dude, here. The the rope for like the the nozzle, like yeah. it works. It works like if you, if even if it wasn't like the intention, like it works so much as like a one you can actually like move. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. That was exactly what I wanted to make, but you nailed it. It 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 isn't perfect, but I'm I'm happy with this. Is as close as I could get to it. Because it's like it's like a shower, like it's like a shower yeah. novel. It has that like exact mm -hmm. like texture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and um, I one think of the, the cat things. Agrees. <laughs> yes, they agree. One They're of the things that Sorry. they uh, also had in uh, one of my references was an industrial dishwasher. So you pull this down, and then uh, things I get washed much. right away. Um, so yeah, that was. Oh, no, is that like a locking? Like there's a there's a handle like. Oh, no, on the other, that thing. Like, it's being yes. held yes. by the handle. Yes. If you would uh, unlock this, then the gate in the penguin house would close. Oh, right. And the top part has a, a door that you can open, so if anything in the mechanism goes wrong, you can still, like, uh, go through is it? I'm speechless, dude. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm being so quiet because I'm just like goo goo ga ga at all of this. And the washing machines and the... Oh. I used the Australia signs for the line around it. That's oh my so god. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. No, that's something else? We'll see what I use later on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm dying. I, I have to know. <laughs> How dare you keep this from us? Oh, dude, I can smell it in here. Yeah, <laughs> so... so if you think this is a lot of poop, um, I actually held back based on my references because, <laughs> oh man. And these I still plastered. Yeah, and I still don't get why they're using these. I think they, they are rubber mats and not I like, think they're anti-slip, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They um, might also be for the um, the feet of the penguins because they cannot stand on like concrete for too long. Oh, okay. It's not good for them. So the one thing that I'm super happy about is because of all those backstage tours that Zeus offers, um, there's so much reference material. So mm -hmm. a lot of what you see here is really just um, pretty accurate uh, to what there is in real life. Um, Wait, this is go back. Where... Oh, is, okay. that the, yep. is that the freezer that the keeper goes into? Yes, that's the freezer the keeper goes into. <laughs> trap, the, trap the velociraptor in there. <laughs> so this is the area where I would uh, would probably have the stairs uh, downstairs for the um, filters. I still need to figure that out because with the water of the animals right there, it's mm -hmm. kind of messy. So I need, yeah. to, I need to check that. But this is based on the Buffalo Zoo. They have like a perfect picture of their electrical cabinets. Um, and surprisingly, that one didn't have any signs either. Mm. Um, so I just did it the way they had so yeah um, very cool very the cool that was what's up <laughs> there's there's one more thing and we went Even, over it. before we see the one more thing can we go back to the poop the poopy room yes <laughs> okay. something, there's something i noticed yes 
Where'd you get the uh, Where'd you get the uh, technique for the the welding joints on the on the railing there? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wyatt. You're welcome. <laughs> Man makes you walk all the way here just to get a pat on the back. <laughs> just to get a compliment, yeah. Exactly. And to get something. We also have an entirely accurate HVAC system that we can now use. And that Ruble is apparently going to use as well. <laughs> that's, a, that's a ringing endorsement. <laughs> there is one more thing, and we actually walked by it. God, you're um, giving me so many sites to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> So this would be the area where we would have uh, your little blue penguins, uh, the oh, yeah. indoor area for that. I also made sure there's already a gate uh, so that you can easily do that. Cool. But yeah, we also have this. Oh, yes. Ooh. Yes, there's now. nothing in there though. No, there are no baby penguins uh, right now. Um, but yeah, let's go into this backstage area. Another one. <laughs> Your cat in the background. <laughs> yeah, it so much. <laughs> They're crying because of how good it is. Yeah. Oh, God. And we have these little incubators. incubators. Oh my God, with the little mattress. <sighs> yes. So good. Oh. Also, uh, one thing, this, these stereos are functional. There is a speaker in the <laughs> air. You can actually use that if you want to. Screw you, I will. You can play some, <laughs> some Mozart for the baby penguins. We'll put the, we'll put the outro song in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this would be the entrance for the backstage of the blue penguins. Oh, that could actually, will... sorry. Did I, actually did I call like dibs a... on the, did I call yeah, dibs yeah. on the, okay. Yeah, you right. call dibs on that, so I'm not That's touching that. It, it could actually be like uh, like in Portal, like in every room there's a little stereo playing that stupid song. <laughs> it's, it's inescapable. <laughs> and here's that penguin species that Wyatt is able to pronounce and I am not. Mm -hmm. um, there's one last detail, and you can see that right over there. Um, some zoos have uh, an actual room where you, they learn baby penguins how to swim. Oh, um, that's so cute. Other other zoos don't think about that in ahead of time, and they simply go, "Oh damn! Well, we'll just get a plastic pool and use that." There are references on YouTube. It's super funny to see. Yeah. So I was like, I could either do an entire room and make it look super professional, or I could do this, which is super cute. Um, I'm glad you did this. This I'm is really glad cool. I did this. <laughs> <laughs> At the um, San Diego Zoo in their um, Africa Rocks section, there is actually an episode of the yes. zoo, the, the show with the baby penguins, and I think they actually do have like a dedicated training yeah. pool. So that's definitely a higher budget example. Exactly. Or just a well, a more well thought out one. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, this was everything. <laughs> that's I am. No, uh, no, I, even I'm so disappointed. I expected so much more. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am I am really really happy with the result of this episode. Um, in our next episode, we're going to do all kinds of things. All I kinds believe. of things. We're gonna try to finish up some of this stuff and maybe also some other things. We'll have to yes. see. I have some busy some busy weeks coming up, so I'm I'm not gonna have a lot of time. But Eva's gonna help me out a bit, so we'll see where things end up. Exactly. Great. Well, well, I hope you all liked it, um, and we hope Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> uh, so subscribe to uh, Goron, but not to Wyatt. Um. <laughs> I deserve oh, it. How, how, after all I've said, how am I still the preferred one? <laughs> well, uh, let's what wrap Wyatt done to you? <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> let's wrap it up before we completely der derail this conversation. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to Wyatt. Subscribe to Goron. Check out the playlist. Leave a like. Leave a comment. We all really appreciate it. And we hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.